Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John J. Gaming on the mic at you guys with an ACSA Game of the Week! We have the number two team in the nation in the capital of Tennessee Bulldogs. Gonna try and go ahead and keep those playoff aspirations alive. Not only in Super South Conference play, but also in the national level as well. As they will go on the road to play against Coastal Alabama. Who is currently ranked number 20 in the nation. Should be a great matchup to watch here today. So if you are excited for it, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe as well as if you happen to be brand new. But in the meantime though, let's get into today's game action, shall we? With all that being said, it is time to officially get this party started. The first primetime game in week 12 on this inaugural regular season between the capital of Tennessee Bulldogs. And the Coastal Alabama Waves, who are trying to hold on, currently ranked number 20 in the nation. Capital of Tennessee, meanwhile, looking like a team that could potentially make it to the college football playoff. They're ranked number 2 in the nation, so Coastal Alabama, even though they are at home, they certainly are going to have their hands full here today as they already are facing 3rd and 6 right now. As they were trying to throw to the left hand side in order to pick up the first down. But that is simply not in the card zone for the Waves. As now the Bulldogs are set to officially take over though. Second and one coming up for the Bulldogs. As now once again Gray dropping back the pass. He's looking around. Gonna throw it down the right sideline and it's intercepted. And not only is it going to be intercepted, it's going to be brought back into the end zone. Touchdown, Coastal Alabama. And what a way to start this game. Coastal Alabama taking an early 7-0 lead here. Can Coastal Alabama play as that spoiler potentially preventing the Bulldogs from going to the college football playoff potentially? Still plenty of football left to play, but we'll certainly have to see... As Gray looks like he is going to try and change that here. As they already have a second and ten here from the 45-yard line. Going to throw it down the left sideline, but it is going to be incomplete. However, as now third and ten coming up. Gray will drop back the pass. Going to throw it to the right-hand side over to Davis. Davis gets flown up into the air, but still comes down with the football eventually. As is a first down for the Bulldogs. As now two plays later, Gray running for his line. Going to end up running for the first down marker and being successful at it. Getting to that 30-yard line. As again, a first down on the play for the Bulldogs. From the 30-yard line as they throw it over in the middle. It's an incomplete pass, but there is a pass interference on the field. So that's going to give them an automatic 15-yard penalty. As they'll try to throw for the end zone, but it is going to be incomplete though. So despite the pass interference call, uh, Capital of Tennessee could not get it into the end zone. We do get a field goal at the very least, so now it's 7-3 over here. As now Coastal Alabama could try to return it back. He's got some blocking, but fumbles the football though. And Capital of Tennessee is going to recover it. On though Coastal Alabama dodging a massive bullet there. They had to go free and out. And you're only able to tack on another field goal as a result of it. So even with that fumble from the special teams unit, Coastal Alabama, as of right now, still holding on to that lead. It's now second and three coming up. Going to hand it off to Gray over the middle. Able to pick up the first down. Gets it to that 35-yard line. As again, first and ten coming up here. Crouch dropping back the pass. He's looking. Avoids a man. Going to get out of the pocket and gets it a first down mark in the process. What a run by Tim Crouch. Not at all uh, related to Tim Couch. As again, first and ten. Crouch dropping back to pass. Once again, going to go ahead and try to run upfield. Getting some good yardage in the process and is able to get a little nine-yard gain going there as well. As now, third and short coming up for Coastal Alabama Waves. Can they pick up this first down as well? Looks like a power run to the right-hand side. As it looks like I call it, got that Tony Romo vision right there. 
And Capital of Tennessee did as well. They were able to read that play extremely well. And as a result of that, got Coastal Alabama off the field. We'll see if Capital of Tennessee can turn around and get their first lead of this game. It's now second and two. Gray dropping back to pass. He's looking around. Going to scramble on field. Gets to the 31-yard line in order to pick up the first down. As again, another first and ten coming up for the Bulldogs. Going to take it on field for a nice play. As there's a fumble for the Bulldogs. Bibby recovers it. And it's the second turnover force, not only by Costa Alabama, but Bibby as well. He had the pick six earlier today. And also comes up big here with that fumble recovery. As Hamilton able to get across the first down marker inside the 25-yard line. As it does wrap up the first quarter of play between Capital of Tennessee and Coastal Alabama. And it is a tight one. Only 7-6. So we'll go ahead and get the second quarter officially underway. Crouch will drop back the pass. Throw it over in the middle in a very contested area. But it is incomplete, though. It's now third and long for Coastal Alabama thanks to that incomplete pass. As Crouch will drop back the pass once again. Going to throw to the left-hand side. But it is incomplete. And so the Waves have to come out here and settle for a field goal themselves. So we do extend the lead, but not by much. As Capital of Tennessee comes back on the field with a 10-6 game on their hands. We'll see if Capital of Tennessee have better luck on this drive. They fumbled it last time out. As Gray looking to send this. And he is going to do that. He's got a man downfield. But it is going to be incomplete though. And so now facing third and 10. Capital of Tennessee needing to come out here and get a first down. Otherwise, I got to punt it away once again and giving Coastal Alabama favorable field position. Gray going to take it into his own hands, though, taking on the Coastal Alabama defense and getting across the 35-yard line in the process. It's now first and 10 coming up here. Gray going to drop back, throw to the right-hand side, but over throws his receiver. Leading to that incomplete pass. And then more trouble for the Bulldogs as there's an illegal procedure as well. So now third and long coming up here. Gray dropping back to pass. He's looking, going over the middle, but it's incomplete. Probably would not have gotten the first down even if he caught it. But have to play it again to Coastal Alabama. Do they extend the lead here? Or nah? As they got to go ahead and throw it to the left-hand side. It's broken up for an incomplete pass. It's now second and ten. Great. Going to go ahead. Run it upfield. Got some good blocking, by the way. And gets it across the 40-yard line for the first down. It's now another first and ten. Crouch dropping back. Going to go to the left-hand side. But it is incomplete, though. It's now second and ten coming up. Crouch dropping back again. Facing pressure. Going to... Pump it a little bit and then pick up a few more yards. It's now third and five coming for the waves. We'll see if they can get that blue wave for the first down. As now Crouch dropping back under center. Gonna get it to Grave and it's broken up though. Not be confused with the gray on Capital of Tennessee. And now the Bulldogs. They're back with the football as well. Both these teams just kind of feeling each other out in the second quarter of play. Not too terribly much happening right now. Both teams, you know, having promising drives, but they just aren't finishing those drives. So, and whoever can finish their drives first are going to end up winning this ball game. We'll see who that is, but as of right now, the Bulldogs do have a third and five that they'll have to contest with. It's now Gray going to hand it off to Bland. Looking for space and he gets that space needed to pick up the first down in the process. First down for the Bulldogs. As we'll keep it rolling on the second and 11. Gray going to send it deep. He's got a man downfield. He finds Juno down the sideline. He's gone. Touchdown Bulldogs. And Capital of Tennessee takes the lead for the very first time today. As on top of that, forcing a free and out on Coastal Alabama. And so, Capital of Tennessee with a prime opportunity to extend the lead before they go into the locker room for halftime. We'll see if they can make it happen. 
Is now second and seven going across the middle to Mac, who had to come back for it, but still fights his way to the first down marker. It successfully gets that first down for the Bulldogs. As with less than three and a half minutes left, they're going to keep on throwing, trying to get it to the right hand side. It is incomplete, but also stops the clock temporarily. Clock starting to become a factor here. Is now third and six coming up for the Bulldogs here. We'll see what Gray does as he's in shotgun. Gonna have to get out of the pocket. Throws it downfield. He gets it to Stephens. And he nearly gets into the end zone here. Is now first and goal for the Bulldogs. Gray dropping back to pass. Throwing it over the middle to Atkins. Who gets into the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs. So they are looking extremely good right now. Now a 20-10 lead against Coastal Alabama. As the Waves trying to go ahead and try to cut into this lead before uh, they get into the locker room. Things certainly not looking good for the 20th ranked home team here in this ACSA primetime. The first primetime game of week 12. As Crouch is going to go ahead and go with the quarterback run and get five more yards in the process. Meanwhile, as again, second and five once more. Crouch going up the field, picking up another first down. Courtesy of sliding down with the quarterback. About a few plays later, they got third and long coming up here. We'll see what happens on this play as Crouch under shotgun. Going to try to run for the first down marker, but the defense is ready to go. The drive stalls in Capital of Tennessee coming in with a 20 to 10 lead going into the second half that's coming soon. So welcome back to the second half of play between the Capital of Tennessee Bulldogs and the Coastal Alabama Waves. We'll see what we got going on here as we got a first and ten coming up. Roth going to get able get across the 40 yard line for the first down on that play. A nice first and ten. As now first and ten from the 39 yard line. Crouch throwing again. Got a man downfield but it's going to be deflected away at the last second. As now, second and ten once more. Crouch dropping back to pass. He's going to scramble this time around. And a smart decision right there. Is now third and three for Coastal Alabama. As now we'll see what Crouch can do under shotgun. Crouch dropping back to pass. Going to throw over the left-hand side. It's going to be incomplete. However, Coastal Alabama has to go ahead and... Settle for that field goal. But it does make it at least a one possession game. We'll see if they can keep it that way as the capital of Tennessee offense is back out onto the football field. As now capital of Tennessee going to chuck it deep downfield once again and gets it to Atkins. Who is looking to quickly make this a multi-possession game once again. We'll see if it works out for the Bulldogs. As Gray will throw again. Throw it across the middle. And it is going to be incomplete. But they'll try to throw it again, I imagine. Second and ten. Actually, it's a run to Bland. Bland has some space. Almost gets into the end zone there. Just a few yards away. It's now first and goal. Gray going to drop back to pass. Going to scramble into the end zone. And it is a touchdown for the Bulldogs. So that being said, it is now that two possession game once again as Coastal Alabama needs to come up with a response and I'll imagine that they'll have to do it by scoring a touchdown. I don't think a field goal really helps them at this point, but I'm not the coach. It will be interesting to see what happens here as Gray gets a little bit of a home run or at least a double as the baseball pundits would say. Is now second and 11. Going to try to throw it over the body to Roth, who does initially make the catch, but has it knocked away. And now third and 11. Got to pick up this first down. Big play potentially for Coastal Alabama. As Krause will drop back again. Throw to the right-hand side to Gore, and it's well short of marker. They were ready for those underneath routes. So now Capital of Tennessee, they have the football once again. Third and six coming up for the Bulldogs is now Gray dropping back the pass. He's looking around. 
Gonna scramble, has some good thing to work with, but he fumbles! He fumbles the ball. But look at this, they actually force a free and out. Capital Coastal Alabama doesn't even come up with anything on that drive. Despite the fact that they force a turnover. And they were in Capital of Tennessee territory on top of that. So, big yikes as you're Coastal Alabama fans. Things would not be looking good for the Waves. As they will run it again with Gray. Who does pick up five more yards on the play. As now, second and five coming up for the Waves. Crouch will drop back. Gonna throw it over the middle and finds D.D. Coward over the middle. One of the best receivers in college football. We have not heard his name very much today, but he's able to finally get loose. Capital of Tennessee doing a really good job of containing him as we go into the final quarter of play. Capital of Tennessee now up 27-13 to 13 going into the fourth quarter. So welcome back to that fourth quarter of play, and things aren't looking too good for Coastal Alabama. They're coming out of this fourth quarter, facing a third and 16, as they will try to throw it over the middle. It is incomplete, however. And so Capital of Tennessee now in a spot where they can try to run the clock out a little bit. If they choose to do so, or if they want to pour it on, they can do that too, as Bland actually going to get it off the right-hand side and pick up eight more yards there. Is now third and short for the Bulldogs. Gray going to try to run it himself, but fumbles the ball. Gives it back to Arnold. And here comes Coastal Alabama. Are we seeing a little bit of a rally potentially? We'll just have to wait and see as Crouch will drop back the pass. Throw it to the left hand side. Gray catches it off the deflection and nearly gets into the end zone as a result of that. As now, second and goal coming up. Crouch looking over to the left hand side. That's incomplete, though. As now, third and goal for the Waves from the eight yard line. We'll see what they decide to do here. As now, Crouch will drop back the pass. Throw it to the right hand side, but it is incomplete, though. And shockingly, Coastal Alabama, they do settle for the field goal. But well, lucky for them, they did force a free and out at the very least. But hey, at this point, you gotta get touchdowns. Touchdowns are going to be able to help you out a lot more than those field goals as Coastal Alabama has only gotten to the end zone one time today. And that's because of this defense. So the offense, they got to do their part in order to go ahead and get that taken care of. It's now second and ten. Crouch dropping back to pass. Going to throw it across the middle, but three guys in the vicinity not wearing a Coastal Alabama uniform. Not the most intelligent play, I would say. Is now third and ten. Crouch dropping back the pass. Gonna throw it to the left hand side. That's also going to be incomplete. And look at this. Coastal Alabama is actually going to try for a long field goal attempt. This will be 55 yards if he makes it, and it's going to be well short right there. And so Capital of Tennessee was able to run some time off the clock, but not much. Because it was a free and out, of course, Coastal Alabama also has free timeouts. So if they can get a quick touchdown here, you never know what can happen. But now is the time if you're Coastal Alabama, if you want to play a spoiler against the number two team in the nation. As Crouch throws over to the right-hand side, that is incomplete, however. So now third and ten coming up here, Crouch. Dropping back to pass. He's looking around. It's intercepted by Apkins. And that's going to be the dagger in this one. So Coastal Alabama came out here today and gave a hard-fought battle. However, that being said, though, it was still too much to handle. As the capital of Tennessee comes out and wins this game on the road. Winning by a final score of 27-16. Coastal Alabama falling to 8-4 and, and their top 25 status will be put in question. On the other hand, Capital Tennessee Bulldogs now improve to 11-1, solidifying their appearance in the conference championship game for the Sunshine Conference. Only thing left to find out is if they have what it takes to make it to the inaugural college football playoff. That being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's ACSA primetime content. If you did, 
do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be brand new. This is John Chick Gaming on the mic. Hope you guys are all out there having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.